He only had one catch. He better get on track soon because uh, Edelman will be back week four, and it'll be the Julian Edelman show. I mean, Chris Hogan did do well in stretches last year when he was relied upon, but he only had one catch last week, and um, and uh, uh, Brady was fine dumping it off to James White and throwing it to Gronk and uh, Philip Dorsett that they got in trade from the Colts had like four catches for 86 yards and a touchdown. So um, I might be worried if I was a Chris Hogan owner just because he's only got a couple more weeks to be the man. He wasn't the man last week, and week four Julian Edelman comes back. So um, that, might be, uh, that might be a situation. But uh, obviously if you have Gronk and Brady, you're great. Um, Rex Burkhead has concussion right now. And um, – uh, so it's the James White show, unless Sony Michelle comes back. Um, Sony Michelle is practicing now. If he comes back this week, it'll be limited. Um, right now, James White is a smash play in any format. He's usually a PPR guy, but this week, um, unless something crazy happens, it looks like there's not going to be that Bill Belichick. Well, well, which one of the three guys is he going to play? He might be like the only guy. So uh, he's a great play this week. Try to pick up Sony if you can in a trade because Rex is not durable. He's never had more than 100 carries in a season. James White is more of a scat back. They want Sony to be the man. I think he will be the man later on this year, and I think you could p- probably pick him up right now pretty cheap before he comes back and starts smashing. Yeah. Yeah, they invested that high draft choice on him, so, yeah, they're going to want to see something. So. Exactly. Um Tampa Bay did amazing. Uh, Fitz Magic, four touchdowns in the air, one rushing touchdown, five touchdowns last week. Um, he hit up Chris Godwin for a touchdown, Deshaun Jackson for two touchdowns. Mike Evans had seven carry, seven catches for 110 yards and a touchdown. They all scored. Another bit of fantasy advice is Fitzpatrick does not throw to his tight end. He only throws to wide receivers. There's three more, there are two more weeks, I'm sorry, of Fitzpatrick. O.J. Howard will continue to not do well. And so a lot of people are going to want tight ends right now. So if he gets dropped, trade for him. And if, uh, it, uh, if he gets dropped, pick him up on the waiver wire. If not, trade for him because you can get him for real cheap. And week four, when Winston comes back, then he'll be viable again. So I think that's uh, – uh, really like kind of read between the lines uh, fantasy play that, that coaches need to be looking at right now. And trust me, there's a lot of fantasy coaches looking for tight ends. O.J. Howard will be a play from week four on. Okay. Yeah, I, I had Delaney Walker in a couple leagues. So, yeah, I'm one of those people looking for a tight end. Um, I think that uh, New Orleans' Ben Watson can be a good play this week because they play the Browns and they are horrible against tight ends. He had some uh, good looks last week. He also had his career year the last time he was a Saint in 2015. He had 67 catches for 850 yards and six touchdowns. So I think Ben Watson's a good spot start this week. Um, Ted Ginn is still a thing. People were talking about Cameron Meredith. He didn't play. People were talking about Traycon Smith, who they drafted. He didn't get any looks. Ted Ginn had a great day, and he uh, caught a touchdown. So he's a good pickup if you need somebody. Um, Mike Gillisley fumbled, um, so uh, he didn't see much playing time. Alvin Kamara, Jesus, man, uh, that guy, three touchdowns. He's just – he's the point oh one percent of the 1% of the best in the world, and if you drafted him, you're, you're really good right now. Do not be worried about Al, uh, you know Ingram when he comes back. He's carved out a role in that offense. He caught nine balls. He only got 29 yards rushing. Um, he caught nine balls and, and had three touchdowns, and he was amazing. I think that Breeze is going to have to do what he normally does and throw the ball a lot with Mark Ingram out. And uh, so um, for the next few weeks anyway, and especially this week at home versus the Browns, um, I think that he's going to be amazing again. Mike Thomas had 17 targets and caught 16 balls. It's just unheard of. 180 yards and a touchdown. So he's obviously a great play. But like I said, you could play Ted Ginn. And I think Ben Watson, for what it's worth, I'm sorry if he gets two catches for 21 yards because that's within the realm of possibility. But there were only like four good starts last week for tight ends. So people are scrambling. If you didn't get anybody on the waiver wire and you're still scratching your head, I would say that um, 
Watson's a good pickup, and then you can uh, pick up O.J. Howard maybe later or trade for him if you still need somebody. Okay. I think that the uh, Bucks come down to earth next week at the Eagles. They have a very tough defense, so definitely don't look for that magic to happen again. I agree. Uh, Jacksonville, yeah, Jacksonville and the Giants game, um, uh, like I said, Fournette went down, but T.J. Eldon did great in his place. Guys that drafted Keelan Cole were unhappy. Austin Safari and Jenkins didn't do anything either. Um, I mean, Bortles just struggled uh, throwing the ball. Um, their defense is amazing, um, but I don't know if you play them next week uh, versus the Patriots. Uh, I mean, it's hard to sit a defense that you probably drafted in the 10th round, <clears throat> which I never tell, tell people to do, but um, I think that's going to be a tough play this week. I still like D.D. Westbrook in that wide receiver core more so than Keelan Cole. Um, so uh, moving forward, I think he's going to be a good play. <clears throat> Uh, Dante Moncrief is not. You could drop Dante Moncrief. Uh, Keelan Cole, you could sit on him, but I don't really like him right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Saquon Barkley is going to be like an Adrian Peterson-type player. You know, guys were really worried. He had like 17 carries for 38 yards, and then his uh, 18th carry was like 60 yards. So he ended up having a great day. He's going to be that home run player. Um, but, um, you know, obviously I think he's still worth the draft capital that you drafted him at. He's a special player. But just if you're not watching the game, just don't look at the box score early because that's what I always remembered about Adrian Peterson, man. He would have like 13 carries for 20 yards, and then he'd finish the game for with 160 yards and, and be fine. So I think he's going to be that type of home run player. And he was that type of player um, in college as well at Penn State. So, you know, um, I, I don't think that should surprise anybody. But um, uh, Odell is Odell. Like, even going up against the best corner, one of the best corners in the league, Jalen Ramsey, um, he got 11 catches for 111 yards. They play the Cowboys next week. Their, their uh, secondary isn't that great. So I think, uh, you know, Evan Ingram and Sterling Shepard are spot starts, but, you know, obviously uh, Barkley and uh, OBJ are great. I don't see any pickups here, really. Austin Safari and Jenkins, a lot of guys probably picked him up. I don't know how well he'll do against New England. I mean, they uh, um, shut down the the, um, the Houston tight ends last week, so I think he'll be a good spot start. Just he'll need a good matchup, like, against the Rams or against, you know, um, uh, the Browns or somebody like that. Um, so Kansas City and the Chiefs, I think you guys talked about that game already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, that's going to be a shootout. So um, uh, Kansas City, I'm sorry, Kansas City at the Steelers. I said Kansas City at the, at the Chiefs. It's getting late. <laughs> Kansas City at the Steelers is going to be a shootout. James Conner is going to be a great play. Juju did great last week. He did better than Antonio Brown. In DFS, uh, DraftKings this week, I want to play Big Ben to bounce back at home with Juju instead of uh, Antonio Brown because he's cheaper, and James Conner, and then come back with Tyreek Hill on the other side. Um, Joe Hayden is missing time right now and might miss this week, and uh, Tyreek Hill might feast again. Um, so I think that that's going to be a great uh, DraftKings kind of stack. And when we play DraftKings, we like to stack games. And I think the stacks this week to play are either Cam or Breeze with uh, Christian McCaffrey and Michael Thomas, and then to play Alex Smith with Jordan Reed and Chris Thompson against, and against uh, you know, like Jack Doyle and Eric Ebron. Um, or you could play Luck with, with Ebron and come back with Jordan Reed. You know, stack those games because those are going to be high-scoring games. And then I think you could stack this – Chiefs uh, Steelers game and put a lot of players from the same game in there. Uh, the only thing is, if you're Sammy Watkins owner, you got to just kind of sit on him right now. Um, you know, Mahomes only <laughs> only plays only throws to Tyreek Hill right now. I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> amazing, like how much more efficient he is throwing Tyreek Hill the ball, and how much better you know that whole situation is versus like the rest of the team um i was digging here like dating back to the preseason this year tyreek 
Hill has caught 21 of 24 targets from Mahomes for an 87.5% catch rate, which is insane, for 351 yards, which is 14.6 yards per target. The rest of the team has caught 20 for 39 for a 51% catch rate, 239 yards for a 6.1 yards per target. I mean, he's like beating the whole team. So Mahomes will probably keep throwing it to Tyreek Hill is, is how I look at it. Um, unfortunately, Kareem Hunt and, and, and Travis Kelsey might not get all those looks that they got, at least early. Um, this is a new system, too, with a basically quarterback that was redshirted his first year, and Matt Nagy has left town, so uh, Reed is calling the plays. And Reed is, you know, he's great, but, you know, uh, right now, you know, Mahomes is, is, is new, and he knows what he likes. And if you've got Tyreek Hill on your team, why wouldn't you just shove the ball down his throat till he shits leather couches, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one more thing about that, about the Steelers. Uh, Vance McDonald has been injured, I believe, with a foot injury, but he was a full participant yeah. in practice. If he could play, I think there is a uh, sneaky tight end play because he, he had some good chemistry with Ben last year, and I think they're expecting a lot of things from him. So I think that could be a um, he could put up some big numbers if he's healthy. I know you like him, and he they traded for him. He's much better than Jesse James, obviously. Jesse James is just a guy. He's a big body. But McDonald is athletic. He hasn't been able to stay on the field. We talked about that last week. But I didn't realize he was back to practice. So, obviously, you're a Steelers fan, so you pay more attention to that. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely. I mean, with all the uncertainty with tight ends, if he's going to play – um, that would be a great sneaky play, and I'm glad you brought it up. That might be a great DraftKings play too. I bet he's the bare minimum. And oh, if you yeah. could find I'm a sure. guy like I'm yeah, sure he'll if you could find cheap, a guy like yeah. that that's 2,300 bucks and he gets you eight points, that's four times value, and that's what you want, and that leaves you so much more money to pay at other positions. That's why I like the Jets this week because they're only 2,500 bucks. I tell you what, I'll I'll throw Vance McDonald in one of my DraftKings lineups just for uh, Joey Bag of Donuts uh, and the Steelers, uh, as long as they say he's going to play, uh, I, I totally agree with that one. Well, I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. If he continues to practice and if he looks healthy, then go ahead, play him. But if he's not, I'll, I'll let you know. I don't I don't want to be responsible yeah, D- for your lineup. <laughs> yeah, definitely D- DM me on Twitter and let me know if Vance is a go. And, uh, and, and don't worry about it. I play 20 lineups, so, you know, it's going to be a, you know, I'll throw him in one of them. I actually had success for the first time in uh, in DraftKings because I learned it's way better to play one-on-one matchups than do the 50-50s and the tournaments and all that stuff. You get much better odds doing the, the head-to-head. just have to beat one person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you're playing low money, that's fine. Um, people that play for big money, that's where the sharks are. But, yeah, if you're playing for 10, 20 bucks, I don't know how much you play for, that's – that's a good play, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because uh, somebody put it, if if your lineup is good enough to be maybe the better than 45% of other people, and if you have a 50-50, you're not going to win anything, but you could win 45% of your head-to-head matchup. So, yeah, I actually, I, I, yeah, I actually had success. Totally tank. All right, yeah. good. Well, that's a nice little tip, man. I've never played head-to-head, and um, and maybe I, I should do a couple of those this week. Well, um yeah. Looking at the Chargers, they play at the Bills, so that defense is going to be uh, good to fire up. Keenan Allen, 8 for 108 in a touchdown last week. Uh, Melvin Gordon ha- had number four in targets in the league. Like, that's over a bunch of wide receivers. He had 13 targets last week, nine catches. Um, the Bills gave up three rushing touchdowns to each one of the Ravens' running backs. Javorius Allen, Kenneth Dixon, and... Uh, Alex Collins all scored, so um, I think Austin Eckler is a good play. He did a lot with his uh, uh, targets last week, too, and had a big game, like 130 yards. Uh, Gordon's going to be a great play. I think Eckler is a sneaky start next week. Um, Maybe not as much in the passing game because this will be a blowout, Um, but um, also if it is a blowout, um, they'll, they'll bench Gordon and put him in the game. They really like this kid. Um, Mike Williams. 